guys, could this be the end of legal migration for foreign workers, especially care workers? Brian Little. <laughs> Good day everybody and welcome to my channel. If you are seeing my face for the very first time, my name is Violet Okolocha. I live and I practice in the United Kingdom. And on this channel, I share every juicy information. So do me a favor, like this video right now so you don't forget. Share this video with as many that will benefit from it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Now guys, could this be the end? of legal migration for foreign workers, especially care workers. Guys, we all know that the UK have fulfilled their promise. If you're currently living in the UK or you're out of the UK and you have been following the recent doings, you would realize that the UK has fulfilled their promise of bringing down net migration. Students are no longer allowed to bring in their dependents. Senior carers and junior carers are also not allowed to bring in their dependents. And just in the half quarter of 2024, they are so happy. Jen Cleverly has come out to say this. Now, look at my screen. 83% decline in UK's care worker visa issued in first quarter of 2024. Did you see that? The UK has issued 83% fewer visas to health and care workers, skilled workers, and students in the first quarter of 2024 compared to the same period last year. So you see that their promises are coming. They are fulfilling their promises of reducing net migration. It's affected them to some extent because lots of universities have laid down their workers. Lots and lots of universities have come out to say, especially Sunderland, they are giving incentive to students so that they can come and study, especially Nigerians, Ghana, and the rest of them. Lots of uh, universities have come to say, oh, we're going through this, we're going through financial hazards, well, so we're going to lay down some workers. You can see that on the internet, but still, they are still excited. The UK Home Office is still happy that they have issued 83% few visas to health and care workers to skilled workers and to students in the first quarter of 2024 so their promise are coming to pass now secondly 139,100 visas were granted to health and care workers skilled workers and students in the first three months of 2024 compared to 184,000 visas issued in the first quarter of 2023. So comparing 184,000 to 134,100, you see that there's a massive decline already in migration. Now, the decline resulted from the ban. They're telling you how the decline resulted. They said the decline resulted from the ban on UK the decline resulted from the ban on overseas social care workers bringing their family dependents to the UK. Not just that, students no longer allowed to bring in their dependents, blah, blah, blah. Only research-based PhD students are allowed to bring in their dependents. Senior carers, junior carers are no longer allowed to bring in their dependents. So that's where the decline is coming from. It says here, by the end of last year, the Home Office announced the new changes to visa rules aimed at reducing migration among them, most preventing foreign students from bringing their family members, except those research-based students. Now, this is from the Home Secretary. Home Secretary Ashon delivering major calls in migration. Robust Home Secretary Ashon has driven an almost 80% fall in student dependence applications in the first quarter of 2024 compared to the same period in 2023. But that's we are still awaiting Mark feedback because the home secretary and the rest of them are written to mark which is the migration advisory committee that they should review thoroughly this graduate visa rule you know the graduate visa rule they've asked mark to review thoroughly the graduate visa rule because the graduate visa rule is supposed to the aim is to retain the brightest of all students who come to study in the uk so that they can use in developing the economic and um, but now they are feeling that the graduate visa rule is more like a means to migration so they have asked mark which is the migration advisory committee to review it so we are waiting feedback from them but already there's a massive decline in migration now many people have been waiting 
to get their COS. Many, many people. My emails is bubbling. No, V. I've been waiting for my COS since four months. I've been waiting for my COS since six months. I've been waiting for my COS since two months. Blah, blah, blah. Stuff like that. And I did say, email the employer so calmly and in a very, in a very simple way. I hope the same meets you where I have been waiting for my series. I just want to know what's going on. I'm really excited to come and join your team. And then when I did that video, lots of people gave me feedback. I'm going to read two of the feedback for you. Los Violet, are they still giving care workers series? Yes. They are still giving but it is reduced it is not like before getting a job now in the uk for care workers is a big deal cos are no longer as it is before honestly speaking i have to be honest with you so lots of people whom i approached me that did not got in their cos i feedback them and said email your employer sign here from them now one two of them sent me this i would not share it please she said nos v i did email the employers like i saw in one of your videos and i said good day i hope the same may meet you well i'm just so keen on coming to join your team um, but i've not heard from you regarding my cos which you said you have applied for since over two months i've tried several to email but no response please could you respond back to me in regards to this i'm really so excited to come work and you know give holistic care to clients slash patients under my care now this was the feedback they did feedback her and this was the feedback we are so sorry to inform you that at the moment we are no longer allowed to sponsor overseas care workers anymore we know this must have cost a lot for you and we apologize for this we will continue to see how best we will continue to see how best we can get this resolved as soon as possible and start sponsoring overseas care workers. But for now, we are no longer allowed. Our care home are no longer allowed to sponsor overseas care workers. Guys, you know, the rules are getting straighter. I don't know if you saw in the internet what happened. They reported it all over the internet of how the home when a fake care home was used to apply for visas and they got the visas, they issued their COAs, blah, blah, blah. So lots of things. The home office now are very thorough with employers. A lot of employers have begun to complain that a lot of things the home office are asking them, you know, are asking them lots of things. The home office are asking lots of things now before renewing cos and many of the employers are like oh my god this is getting too much probably we might just begin to get workers from within the uk the home office is requiring so much because you know lots of people come to the uk to work there's no shift they give them job they come here no shift they are starving having to depend on food banks stuff like that so the home office because of all these issues the home office is beginning to be very 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 thorough they are requiring lots and lots of documents for some employers some employers are even giving up some companies have lost their license to sponsor overseas workers some others are on suspension you know so these are the reason and this was the one of them the second one the same thing the care home feedback her and and they said to her that for now that they are trying to see all what they can do to meet the demands the home office is making for them that so she should be patient so honestly speaking guys it's not a joke even those currently in the uk they are looking for cos i told you because lots of people who have finished their studies like the student trying to you know switch visas is not easy currently it's not easy however this is not to deter you but this is to tell you the situation of things because lots of people have you know like my email is bubbling nos v this nos v that facebook instagram everywhere all my social media and a lot of people have been asking me i know how you feel i was like that guys when i got uh, I, I was given a job i had my job offer and you know covid came and i couldn't hear from my company i was really worried so i understand your worry but honestly this is what is going on at the moment it's not your employer's fault they are going through a lot the home office is very thorough now they are trying to cut migration at all costs they are demanding so much from employers before they can issue cos all right now i know lots of you have come to my email especially some nurses now nurse v do you still think nurses are needed in the uk now let me tell you what happens every year 
nurses care workers they are always needed because a lot of people when they get their citizenship when they get their ILRO some of them give a pause in their career some of them choose to relax some of them choose to do other things so there is always vacancy but just for now for now they are still using COS, they are still giving employment, but it's now a bit more difficult. It's not as easy as it was, and I have to let you know the truth. Do you understand? If you have any queries, do not hesitate to drop your queries. I'm not an immigration officer. This is a big disclaimer, but however, this is what is going on from all the messages I have received, and I wanted to share it with you. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in another of my juicy videos. Once I see you again, have a beautiful day. Bye, guys.